Previously on High School Mystery Messages, Anna, Keith, and Tobias tried to research the secret behind Molly's death. They visited Molly's mother, Mrs. Veronica, to verify the texter's identity. To everyone's surprise, the texter knew all the right answers that no one else should know. All proved that the texter was Molly indeed. Anna was so scared. Both of her best friends, Keith and Tobias, came to comfort her and made her feel much better. However, when Anna was going to bed, she saw a mysterious guy outside her window. The person you are trying to reach is unavailable. Why? It's not easy for me to fall asleep. I need to have some milkshake to clear my mind. Add my favorite fruit. Milk is good for sleep. Turn it on. tomorrow. <sighs> Today's another day. I will text Molly. Why do you blame me? It's your fault. Your fault. Let's play a game. What kind of game? Trivia. Trivia about ghosts? No, science. Science? Well, I guess she was not happy. Okay. You're so smart. Sometimes frightening and sometimes friendly. Is she making fun of me? Gosh, I need to hurry to school now. I still have some time to prepare myself before class. Training outfits. Place my books on the shelf. Cute stickers. Check my class schedule. Good. 
Hey, Hannah, we're in the same class this morning. You look distracted. More trouble from the ghost? I'm not sure I'd call it trouble. I saw a hooded guy outside my window last night. No, 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 no. This is so serious, you know? I'm late. Hey, where were you? I attempted more research at school, to no avail. You're still getting creepy messages? Yes, but they're getting friendlier. She asked me to play a trivia game with her. Fascinating. Did you play with her? Y yes That's even creepier. Perhaps you can help her restless spirit find peace. No, maybe it's a serial killer. Come on, you two, take this seriously. Uh, let's go to class first. What happened to Keith? He left while muttering under his breath. I guess he's not pleased about how I'm handling this. He's worried about you, that's all. I know. I am too, you know. In fact, I really... Anna, please come to the school office right now. What? Me? Uh-oh. Maybe you forgot something at home and your parents sent it for you. Sure, sure. Well, I'll see you later. Sit down, Anna. Do you know why you're here? No, sir. Not even a guess? Really? According to Keith, you're receiving messages from someone who claims to be Molly Marks. Keith, how could you? I assure you, he did the right thing. The school needs to be involved in a situation like this. You should have come to me. It just didn't seem like that big of a deal to me. We will be monitoring the situation closely. Please don't tell everyone about this. I don't want to be teased. I agree the other students shouldn't know. That could lead to further problems for you. I won't make it public unless I feel you're in danger. Thank you. Sorry, Anna. I have to deal with some emergencies. Okay. I also need to hurry along for class. Is the door locked? Oh, gee, I have to get out of here. Backup key is in safety box. The password is... Why are the rest missing? Hmm, let me find them out. Look at that. Another one. Look at that. Got another one. Fix it up. Rotate it. Got another one. Ew, take the garbage out. Got another one. Put them on order. Finally, I'm 
and free. What's this? Is that intended to put me to shame? Look out, Anna. The ghost is gonna get you. How do they know about Molly? Who could have done this? Mr. Markson? But he just promised me not to tell anyone. Anyway, I'll tear them down. Tear down the poster. Tear them into pieces. Throw them away. Seen any ghosts today, Anna? What do you want? Look! There's one now! Ooh! Better watch out! The ghost is after you! Leave me alone! Where are you going? To talk to Molly? <laughs> People know about Molly and girls like Katie will use it to get their revenge on me. What should I do? I can't run away forever. I need to face it. Let me start with the fresh makeup. Use these eye drops to make my eyes feel better. happened. They're saying you're, um, being haunted? I just want to know how they found out. Well... What? You know something? Tobias has been asking everyone about the supernatural. Ugh, Tobias. Looks like Keith isn't the only one I have to worry about. I'm sure he meant well. Sure. Anyway, don't let them get you down. They're just picking on you because it makes them feel tough. 
<laughs> I guess so. Thanks. No problem. I should be going now, though. Uh? -huh. I'm gonna ask Keith why he told the principal. And stop what Tobias is doing about the ghost. Hey, you! Hmm. Hmm? First you, Keith. How could you go to Mr. Markson like that? Oh, that's what this is about? Yes! I asked you not to tell anyone, and what did you do? You told the principal! How could I sit back and do nothing? You're starting to buy into this whole ghost nonsense. The deeper you go, the more you could get hurt. That is supernatural. Stop, Tobias. I'll talk with you later. Keith, dragging the school into this doesn't hurt? I'm sorry. I just don't want you to go through this alone. I didn't think I was. I have you and Tobias, don't I? And he believes in ghosts. Maybe you're right, but what if he's right? How is the school principal going to help? How? He can keep an eye on the situation to make sure it doesn't get out of hand. If I thought I was in danger, I'd tell someone. Would you? Or would you assume you weren't in danger until it was too late? Are you saying I can't take care of myself? No! Then what? I just... I care about you, Anna. I'm sorry. Dude, never mind. Stand with us. She will forgive you. Tobias! Do you know the things they're saying about me? How could you let so many people know I'm being haunted? I didn't mean for it to turn out this way. I thought I could learn more about ghosts if I asked other people. Then you should have pretended it was just your own weird interest. Weird? Instead, you dragged me into it. I'm sorry. I'm sure Tobias meant well too. Yeah, I know. Between the two of you, I might never get any rest. What am I going to do with the two of you? We'll make it up to you. I promise. We'll get better someday. <laughs> Thanks. I need to go to field for cheerleading rehearsal. See ya. See you. I already feel better. It never feels good to be angry with my friends. Anyway, the first football game of the new session is coming soon. I don't want to ruin my first show. Devote myself into practicing now. We want a touchdown! Good job! Who did send me those? One package is from Keith and the other is from Tobias. This is from Tobias. Great! It's a short stack of movies. You're probably angry with me over what happened. I didn't mean to spread rumors like that. Here, movies help, right? Please forgive us. We care about you too much to think clearly at times. Yours truly, Tobias. Aww. Oh, it's a box of chocolates. Looks yummy. Hey, Hannah. Sorry about what I did. You're probably pretty angry at me for going to the principal. Well, here's a box of chocolates for you. No hard feelings, okay? Your friend, Keith. for the gifts and everything you've done for me. So lucky to have both of your support. Great. That works. Oh, yes.
Keith, go! Too bad. Let's help our boys out in another way. Go, Keith! First half. Go, Keith. Ugh. What's your problem now? You act so innocent, cheering for Keith like that. How is there anything not innocent about that? You know what I mean. He fawns all over you, and you let him. Never mind that you're two timing him with that weirdo. Whoa, two-timing it? Keith and I are just friends. And that goes for Tobias, too. Keep telling yourself that. And how is your new BFF? Huh? I meant your latest conquest. I saw you in the school aisle. I really have no idea what you're talking about. Go on, play dumb. Poor Anna has so many boys wrapped around her thumb, she can't even remember them all. It's not like that. Hey! Oh dear, please excuse me. I wouldn't want to get between you two. Uh-huh. Excellent game, Keith! With your talent, someday you'll find a girl who appreciates you. Thank you, I... <laughs> I didn't mean this one. What was that all about? She was just giving me a hard time. Don't worry about it. She's right about one thing, though. Tonight's game is fantastic so far. <laughs> thanks. Only thanks to you lovely ladies. Anyway, let's go find Tobias. Tobias? At a football game? He said he wanted to cheer us both on and study the atmosphere. Study the... <laughs> this I gotta see. Lead the way. Hey, Tobias! Oh, there you are. An excellent showing from both of you. Bravo! I can't believe you're actually at a football game. It's an interesting experience. But Anna, do you need to be out on the field now? No, the band has an extra long show this year, so we aren't doing a halftime show. They're saving all their energy for cheering us on. And speaking of energy, how's the atmosphere? Not nearly as paranormal as I'd hoped. You were hoping for some haunted footballs or what? It occurred to me that Molly's spirit might be stronger at night. Yet, with so many living people here... That's our Tobias complaining about too many living people at a football game. You're in surprisingly good spirits. Dude, we're winning the game. Of course I'm happy. The game is enough to distract you from Anna's plight? Of course not. But it's not like anything can happen when we're all together like this. I'm not even sure Molly is dangerous. I wouldn't go that far. We need more information. Well, well, I don't want to be distracted. I've got to get back to the team to warm up for the second half. Anna, see you there. Oh, it's from Molly. Really? Come to my memorial locker during halftime. You'll get the answers you want. Tobias, are you... Yes, I'm in. Don't worry. I will protect you whatever happens. You look distracted. It's okay. Molly? Are you here? Molly Marks? Please speak to us.
Is... is that you, Molly? Be gone, Anna. Evil spirit, I adjure thee that thou return from whence thou came. Are you alright? Yes! What's that? Where did this object come from? Oh, that must be what they dropped as they ran away. Do you recognize it? Yeah. This necklace belongs to Molly. She wore it to school almost every day. Is Molly the mystery guy? Why did she leave the necklace behind? What's the secret in that necklace? Stay tuned for our next episode.